the clients that stick with companies are not the ones that are generating the leads. It's the cl companies that's generating the most sales. Very important distinction. And that's where we like to live is the sales, not the leads. And remember what I said earlier, sales dictates your optimizations. Leads do not. Your CPA does not dictate your optimizations. Your sales do. Is remarketing delivery a lower CPA? Sure. Should you crank it up? Well, is it actually delivering you sales? Yes, but actually like, at like one tenth of what my other campaign is doing. So then your actual cost per sale is a lot higher now. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So now we're going to be talking about after you have a quality lead inside of HubSpot, what do you do with it inside of Google? Well, there's two things. You either one, use it to your own knowledge and simply just make optimizations as you see fit. But it has largely to do with the size of the campaign or size of the account that you should be matching. So I'm going to choose a big account now. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to hop over to GADS 3. This works especially well with large accounts because a lot of times you're not having the full visibility as to the attribution model that you chose. For example, like what was the first click? What was the last click? What was the remarketing? Like where did that lead actually come from? Choose your own um, bidding or attribution model that makes the most amount of sense. Attribution model is not for Google, it's for you. I, I always like to say that the attribution model to Google doesn't matter. <clears throat> it's how you set it up that matters. We've been scaling this account here, as you can see, like crazy. Uh, it's been working really, really well. And in this last 30 days, I have uh, 12 different campaigns, 100 or 150K in spend. So this one, where did the lead come from? That's a hard one. <laughs> that one is very, very difficult, especially when um, the majority of our cost, 87,000 of that 150, so a little bit more than half is coming from Performance Max. So I have performance max, I have a DSA, I have a remarketing, I have a brand, I have a general search, I have a lot of different campaigns, I have a YouTube remarketing, all the good stuff. And then different types of YouTube remarketing, to the non-converters, to the converters. It's a long sales cycle. It's a $15,000 custom build gas grill kit, essentially made specifically for a person's backyard. We're doing lead generation. That's, that's all we're counting. <clears throat> One thing that's important is when you're counting your conversion actions for lead generation, make sure you're counting what you want to be counting. So this company here had, uh, and I won't say their name out loud, but if you know who LP is, you know that um, they have a lot of data here that shows conversions that aren't really real. Like, yeah, they spent more than three minutes and more than five minutes. Wow, conversions. Um, it's junk. So we're only counting the conversions that make sense. Who designed their own product and then submitted that product requesting for a quote like hey i'd like to have this built how much would this cost now they came in on the ad that shit said that you know their kits are starting at eight grand so that's one thing that i'm doing to generate a quality lead is saying hey hey before you even come to our site you know you're going to click on an eight thousand dollar product right and they're like yep so perfect i've, I've leaped that hurdle <clears throat> so the ways that you're generating these leads even if it is like an e-commerce type of lead it's a large commitment. So make sure that you're starting off on the best possible way you can. And this is a side point that I'm making, but it's an important side point where the leads that you're generating will not be bait and switched. They will not happen. Your competitors are doing a much better job at explaining prices up front most of the, most of the time, or there's someone out there that they're going to start down that journey first. And if they start down that journey with them first, you've lost. Doesn't matter if they if they come back two months later. That's not a you can't scale that strategy of ah, I didn't trick them. Um, so make sure that you're at least, at least doing lead generation the most honest way you possibly can. That is going to get you the highest close rate, and the highest close rate means clients stick with it. The clients that stick with companies are not the ones that are generating the leads. It's the companies that generating the most sales. Very important distinction, and that's where we like to live is the sales, not the leads. The reason why I bring this up is I have to go back one week. Um, uh, so I have to take off this last week here. So I'm just going to do the 3rd through the 25th. Cool. So you'll see here from the 3rd through the 25th, we have 425 leads. I'm using data-driven, so there's a little bit more leads than this. But then you're going to see another type of conversion action called quality lead. Now, this is an imported lead. This is coming from their sales tool. It's actually coming from Salesforce. 
they're exporting all the leads with GCLID and we're uploading them. And it's a manual process, so it does kind of stink. But this is absolutely worth it if you want to do it on a week, weekly basis, which means you only have to do this four times a month. For $150,000, yeah, we'll upload things four times a month. That's, that's completely fine because we need to know this. But what is this? So this is a person that says, I like what you have proposed. Let's move forward. Let's get started. Here's you know, a down payment. And now let's go through the build out process. This is a lead that's going to close. It's going to take longer than 90 days to actually make the sale. Google will only go out 90 days. I can't import the sales. It's not physically possible. Google will only stop counting GCLID after 90 days. So on the 95th day, it's like, yes, we, we, we got it. And we made 15 grand. I try to import that. It says, up, oh, that leads too old. And it's just not going to count it. So I can't see visibility. So we have to pick a, uh, we have to pick a, uh, I'm going to stop sharing here so it's not a blur nightmare. So we have to pick a timeline within whatever the attribution window is, preferably 90 days, if we're going to count it post lead generation. What I mean by that is if I generate a lead and I need to pick within 30, 60, or 90 days, whatever your conversion window is of that, Im that imported leads. Whatever that conversion window you set, that's your time limit. That's it. Go as far as you can, which is 90 days. If it's past 90 days, you have to point, pick a different point in time that is going to show an indication of quality before, before you can import that. That's, that's the that's the timeline. So our best bet was, well, this person already is working through the sales process. They're going to close. We're building it now. We'll count that as a sale. We don't know how much the final is. We, we can't get that because there's going to be little points of what kind of countertops and do you want this trim and what color? All this stuff's going to be found out later on. <clears throat> so quality lead is what we're importing. This is not a glitch. I'm interrupting the video you're watching because I need to remind you that I'm always looking for people to join our team. So if you're passionate about Google Ads and you want to work with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. Speaking of working with the best Google Ads agency on the planet, if you're having trouble with Google Ads and you want professional help, that's what we do. You can go to solate.com, that's S-O-L-8.com, to apply for your free, no obligation action plan. And if I've given you any level of value at all, maybe think about giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's how we juice the YouTube algorithm them so they actually know that I know what I'm talking about. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or confessions, hit me below in the comments. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And the way that we do this is in tools and settings in the conversions area. On the left-hand side, you're going to see an area called uploads. And uploads are what we're actually taking the leads that are being generated in an Excel spreadsheet and capturing GCLID what the conversion action that we made new, the new one called quality lead. It's not auto, it's not a it's not a conversion action that's being counted through tag or through analytics. It's it's literally just a, an import through import through clicks uh, conversion action. And then we're just sticking a time on there that this was essentially happened. It just has to be after the click. It doesn't matter what time it actually happens, it just has to be after the click. That's all that Google is gonna gonna need for, for verification. <clears throat> so this is simple. These are three fields. Um, we actually, we can make this field up. This is what we made. The client just needs to have GCLID. That's all they need. They just need to have the GCLID. That's it. And with that GCLID, when we upload them, uh, we'll populate through their attribution model where that lead came from. And it'll go right back and say, hey, that quality lead came from this campaign. It's perfect. It's, it's, a, it's, it's amazing. There's actually, instead of the conversion action settings here, instead of Google, you can actually go and look at the templates. And if you look at the template from like, let's just say convergence from clicks, which is what we're using, they'll give you a Google sheet. And now you got to clone this, but it's just like, hey, as long as you have a click ID and then what you named it and when it happened, you can leave these blank or just take them out. You really just need this. So they just need to pull in GCLIDs here and send it to you. That's all That's all this takes. It's not It's not a difficult, it's time consuming and it kind of stinks um, because you have to do it manually. but. Uh, there is ways to do this automatically. It's a little bit more um, advanced. You have to have either an SFTP connection or an HTTPS connection, and you have to pull from a source. That's much more difficult than a client just sending you 10 GCLIDs a, a week. <clears throat> but I can see here, what's nice about this is I know that I'm trending up. Um, we have uh, 58, 48, 67, and then went from 89. Then we had one little bit of a dip. This is the 4th of July weekend. That makes sense. 70, 75. The latest one was 76. These two are higher because this is actually longer than a one week period. But the last one week period between the 22nd and the 30th showed 76. I already know my account collectively is delivering myself, my client more quality leads. 
great indication of success. Happy client. Now, what do we do with it? Well, we look at different things. <clears throat> so far from the 3rd to the 25th, out of 425 leads that were generated, 82 essentially sales. Now, what does this tell me? Well, at an average of $15,000 per sale, let's pull out our handy dandy calculator here. Whoop, yeah, that worked. Um, 82 times 15,000, 1.2 million. Cool, what did I spend to get that? 69,000. Very, very happy. See why we're scaling? <laughs> That's one of the reasons why we now 10x this campaign. Um, and, and, and just to give you all a, uh, an understanding, the previous year, when they're running with Google Ads with the, with the other agency, collectively, we have, uh, they went from 151 leads to 900, the same date range compared to last year. Um, well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, this is total account here. I should be looking at the other one. 338 to 903. 565 more leads. That's why we're scaling, <clears throat> is because we can see what's actually happening. Now let's let's look at some other things. Here's a really, 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 really crazy thing that happens: is your CPA is not indicative of the optimizations you're going to make. Remember what I said earlier: sales dictates your optimizations, leads do not. Sales dictates your optimizations, leads do not. What does that mean? My cost per conversion is $162 in performance max. But I have, and who could do quick math in their head? I'm, I'm contrary to popular probably opinion or belief. I'm bad at math. 82 out of four, 424. What is that, a 20%? Ish? Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Ankar. <laughs> My human calculator. Appreciate that. <laughs> 20% close rate. That's good. Now, what's a 20% close rate? Well, it means that you take your CPA multiplied by five. That's your cost per close deal. Makes sense. But that's $162 lead. Your discovery of remarketing was 156. That's a bad example. Let me go back in time because I've actually started to reduce that before when I had a high amount of ad spend in there. And I'm just going to assume that I'm looking at a proper time range. So let me just find this because I, I I saw this and stopped it. Um, that's why that's why it looks worse now. Um, what's my CPA here? Uh, there it is. Uh, $129 versus $176. So remarketing was delivering me $129 versus $176. Right, that looks better. 129 is is a lot better. 170. That's $50 cheaper. Now, out of 412 that came in here, 13 quality leads. What did this tell you? 415. Remember the other one? 420 leads. There's 80. Out of 420 leads here, there's 13. Now, we know that this is discovery remarketing. However, I also know that they're running a lot of different channels. I'm remarketing everybody. I'm remarketing their Facebook. I'm remarketing their, their Instagram users. I'm remarketing their, their link tree. I'm remarketing organic. They're doing, they're doing $50,000 um, postcard delivery. I'm remarketing everybody, 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 everybody. And I'm using data-driven attribution. So it should be remarketing also myself and giving me a weight. Well, when I started to crank up remarketing, my CPA started to increase. My lead quality didn't, didn't go anywhere. So I already know that this is not where my quality leads are coming from. Pmax is going through my quality leads. So out of 415 conversions, 13 of them are good. Well, that's, that's a really bad ratio when you're considering 1,500 here and 300. So your CPA does not dictate your optimizations. Your sales do. Is remarketing delivery your lower CPA? Sure. Should you crank it up? Well, is it actually delivering you sales? Yes, but actually like, like one tenth of what my other campaign is doing. So then your actual cost per sale is a lot higher now than, than performance max. I'm taking the higher CPA to make more sales. Welcome to your daily Google News. I'm joined by one of my favorite entrepreneurs of all time, Sean Clark. Sean, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It's great to yeah. be back. If you don't know Sean, Sean built the most disruptive SaaS product in the history of all things marketing. You've unseated some category kings. Like you made some people very, very nervous 